Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. tonight the culmination of all the hard work put in during the offseason and not just by the players you have front offices trying to retool to get better and coaches scheming to get the most out of the players they have and that's a daily job isn't it? all season long staying on top of them making sure that they have an understanding of what they are supposed to accomplish with each and every workout and out of bounds is Chicago games possession And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Paxson outside. Pippen outside. And there's the try. Grant against Williams. Grant. That's good. That's the hustle you get with Grant. Terrific at hitting the glass with a purpose. Hawkins against Jordan. Jordan with the steal. We're about one minute into the first. And Bull pulls it down. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive coverage. He's got to be kicking himself he didn't make that one. Here is Hawkins. Left side Anderson. To the inside. Here's Bull. That shot, no good. And it's Chicago the other way. Jordan outside. Paxson passes to Grant. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's speed. Grant's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, outstanding ball movement from Paxson there, showing a willingness to involve his teammates. Hawkins against Jordan. Hawkins kicks to Anderson. Bull setting the pick for Anderson. Bull can't hit. The Bulls have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's Jordan. Pass to Batson. Doesn't go that time. Nice D from Russell. The pass to Hawkins. Anderson right side. Rebound by the Bulls. Pass to Cartwright. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Grant. Makes it off the glass. Grant's got six points. Yeah, I like how strong Grant is inside. I mean, not many guys want to fool with him down there. Timeout called the 76ers.
And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Here's Anderson. Another miss by Philadelphia. Chicago leading by six. Jordan dishes to Pippen. Pops it up for Jordan. And they double up Jordan. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Pippen outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. Over Anderson. Grant trying to break free. Pippen can't hit. The 76ers trail by six. Russell feeling it out a bit. It's Hawkins on the wing. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. A guy with Hawkins' accuracy can simply kill you from mid-range. That's a money shot for him. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. From 15 feet away, Jordan with the bucket. He saw his opportunity and went right into attack mode. He'll take those mid-range openings whenever they're presented. And to see him doing it at the start of the game is very encouraging for his team. Screen by Russell. Hawkins kicks to Anderson. Over Pippen. Anderson can't get it to go. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Jordan passes to Paxson. Pippen down low. Russell's there. Here's Cartwright. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Using his size to his advantage. Like seeing Cartwright force the issue and get the whistle. Bulls shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Have to appreciate what Cartwright gives you. He's a starting caliber center who's terrific in the post. And the second free throw, good. The 76ers trail by seven. Now Hawkins tipped away and stolen by Jordan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the fouls. Such a physical player. Jordan seems to embrace getting contact on the way up. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. And so Jordan nails both of them. So it's Philadelphia now. They trail by nine points. Russell kicks to Williams. Up top Hawkins over Paxson. Another miss by Philadelphia. And the Bulls with possession. They're on an 11-2 run. Jordan with the bucket. Early on, they built this lead on the power of paint points. Being aggressive in the paint can take a team out of a game early. Hawkins against Jordan. Anderson right side. No one near him. Paxson pulls it in. The Bulls leading by 11. Outside Jordan. Over Hawkins. 
Falcons and the Bulls tack on two more. Right from the start, they set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip, doing an amazing job building this lead. Now here's Anderson. No points in the game yet for him. And there it is for him. One thing I like about Hawkins, he doesn't need the ball much to score. For Chicago, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Outside Pippen. Pass to Brent. Shot clock at 6. Anderson against Pippen. This one for 3. And Ball pulls it down. The 76ers trail by 11. Russell inside, defended by Jordan. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Bull. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And Williams, that's good. Williams has got it back down to within single digits for the 76ers. Jackson passes to Jordan. Anderson against Pippen. Over Anderson. And it's Pippen missing. And he knows he's got to convert in these situations. No excuse given the limited defense on him. The pass to Bull. Here's Williams. He's covered by Grant. Williams against Grant. Williams dishes to Bull. Here is Hawkins. Misses the three. Out to the right wing. Pops it up for Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. No doubt about the brilliance of Jordan as a player. Outstanding at knowing when to go get that alley-oop. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Kings checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Grant. Hobson's checked in for Pippen. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. And here are the 76ers now. 11 point game. Hawkins with it. They set the pick. Kicks to paint. He feeds it to Bull. Nice pass. Run right him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Slick move. Coming off the pick and going straight to the hoop. Now Armstrong. Jordan looking it over. Fires top of the key. Carries the jump shot. 
Jordan's got 12 points in the game. Right out of the starting block. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. Now here's Payne. Pass to Hawkins. Fires it up. Rebound by Armstrong. Passes it to King. It's blocked. And they recover. Williams kicks to Jordan. Back to Williams. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. One shot. And the technical free throw is good. And so here is Chicago, leading by 12. The shot, no good. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. Good recognition. You have the mismatch, go to work. The Bulls have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Armstrong passes to Jordan. Here's Hobson, defended by Booker. Down low, here's Williams. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yes, sir. Williams is a force with the rock. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Williams, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Scott Williams. One shot. One shot. Free throw no good for Williams. And, and the physicality of Williams is impressive. When he's on the floor, he's not afraid to throw his body around. And here's Hawkins. Bain now top of the key. Five to shoot. Inside. Here's Ruin. And it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. And you know he's finishing when he gets that close. Count it. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Jordan. He's got 13. Here's Hobson. Williams a screen. 11 feet away. They get the rebound. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. Williams trying to break free. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Hawkins looks to score whenever he can, which in turn makes the defense nervous. This is his first chance at the line tonight. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And it doesn't matter where he is on the court. Hawkins is an efficient shooter, especially from the free throw line. So he gets them both. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. Bulls leading by eight. Armstrong kicks to Williams. King left side. Up top Jordan. It's over Payne. And again, Chicago. No good. And so Booker will bring it up for Philadelphia. Payne can't hit. Armstrong with it. 
he's still scoreless so far in this one. King right side. And stolen by Payne. Here's Williams, and it's Williams finishing it off. Incredible effort on the glass. How about that? He gets the rebound, and then the two points. Good for him. And plays like that, they can rally your team. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Physical move by King in the paint. Taking it to the defense and getting the whistle. It's his first trip to the line. Two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. The sixth overall pick in the 1989 draft. Stacy King is a very talented big man. He doesn't get the second one. The 76ers trail by seven. Payne kicks to Hawkins. Pass to Ruin. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Payne can't hit. I seriously doubt that was the shot that they were looking for right there. And the defense wants those type of shots. He played right into it. Explosive finish, surprisingly so, for a big man who doesn't always take it hard to the rim. Well said, Clark. He has the appropriate size to attack. But like you said, he usually doesn't. Well, he found an opening he liked that time. And he took full advantage of what the defense gave him. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Hawkins passes to Payne. Six to shoot. Booker outside. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. second attempt does not go in for him and so the first quarter is in the books the Bulls lead by nine and don't go away we'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Bulls, guys, what do you think? Pounded inside as much as possible was obviously the game plan. The defense hasn't had an answer, so that's why they just keep going back to this. And the NBA rumored to be looking at adding teams again. Mike, expansion. Do you, do you worry about the rapidity of expanding in this league? The town overall will take a hit, but the markets are there for future NBA franchises. You wonder if they'll even look outside the USA for expansion. Someday, though, it probably is coming our way. We're going to see teams overseas. It only makes sense, wouldn't it? It certainly would, and we see the leagues that have formed in other countries where players who don't make it in the NBA go there and make a pretty good living, and they feel that they would like to try and compete at the NBA level, so why not have a franchise? Defense should have sent help. A size advantage down low makes for an easy two points. Anderson against Pippen. Spins. He kicks it to Armstrong. Six on the shot clock. Picked by Williams. Top of the key. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. I like this play call by Armstrong. Intelligently moving things around to play for himself. Hawkins against Paxson. And here's Hawkins. Six points for him. And he comes up with the deuce. Hawkins has got eight. 
just because he's known as a sharpshooter, don't get it twisted. Hawkins is more than capable of mixing it up on the interior. Here is Armstrong. Williams, a screen on Anderson. Hit it. Williams passes to Batson. A baseline J off the mark. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Only given up two points this quarter. At the elbow bowl. Good. Nice job down low. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Jackson passes to Armstrong. Outside Pippen. Grant with a screen on Anderson. Pippen. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Pippen doing what he can to draw the contact while in the act of shooting. That's just a good veteran move there. The Bulls have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. And he makes the first. Points, assists, rebounds, defense. Scotty Pippen gives your team all of that. Every team in the league wants a guy like him. The Bulls making a switch here. Cartwright's checked in. And both free throws good for Pippen. The 76ers trail by seven. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Bull setting the pick for Anderson. And it's Bull that time on the assist by Anderson. Bull's got four this quarter. This is the creativity he brings to this offense. Fantastic at involving his teammates with his passing. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Grant trying to break free. Second chance effort. Not a piece of it. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain position here. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Such a clever offensive player. Paxson excels at drawing contact while shooting. The Bulls have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. Seven for ten. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. For this team, John Paxson is a guy you can rely on. Runs the offense well, can shoot it as well, and pretty solid defensively, too. Both free throws good from Paxson. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Here is Hawkins. He's got eight. And there's the pass to Anderson. Fades. No good off the back of the rim. You know, you got a feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. Armstrong with it. Working on Payne. Armstrong gets the bucket. Armstrong's got four points in the quarter. B.J. Armstrong, a little acrobatic make that time. Impressive for the small fella. Anderson, a screen on Paxson. Bain, looking around to the paint. 
Irish pole. Yep, that one goes in there. Really good job of sticking with this. So hard to sink it while being fouled. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. On the free throw, no good. Oh, it just drops your jaw at how big Bowl is. His arms, they seem like they go on forever. And that helps him be a phenomenal shot blocker. Using his stature to beat them to the rebound. Love to see a big man doing his thing. Anderson against Pippen. Anderson passes to Payne. Pass to Hawkins. Shoots over Grant. Kept alive. Here's Bull, an easy two points on the layup. Bull's got 10. And how about the timing from him on the offensive glass? Positioning himself perfectly to capitalize. Pippen loses to Grant, so the wing on the left. Pippen down low. He's against Anderson. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. He's gone two for two at the line so far. The 76ers making a switch here. Russell's checked in. One shot. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Pippen no good on the free throw. The 76ers trail by seven. Outside, Russell. Goes up with the stripe. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Hawkins has got four points in the quarter. They look to him offensively. A player who makes an impact on this end. Paxson passes to Cook. Over Bull. Cartwright misses. He tried to use the fadeaway. Get a little space. Not an easy shot to drain. Passes it to Anderson. Here is Hawkins. And he dishes it to paint. Anderson outside. Just four to shoot. And the rejection by Pippen. Pippen putting in the work to get there for the denial. That was really a nice hustle play. Armstrong gets the bucket. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Pippen against Anderson. Here's Hawkins. And chance shot. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut down now to just five on the basket from Russell. And this demonstrates his strong work ethic. His teammates appreciate how hard he goes on the offensive glass. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over.
The Bulls bring in a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Williams is checked in for Philadelphia. Booker comes in for Hersey Hawkins. Pippen kicks to Jordan. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you can't allow Michael Jordan to get inside position. Once you do, you pretty much have to foul. For Chicago, they have gone 9 of 13 from the line. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Hobson's jacked in for Pippen. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so Booker will bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by seven. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Williams has a screen for Payne. And there's Williams, that's good on the assist from Payne. Payne's got his fourth assist in this one. Paxson passes to Hobson. Jordan against Russell. Pass to Paxson. Grant with a screen on Williams. Paxson hits the target from 18 feet. Paxson's got four points in the quarter. Anytime Paxson can get to his jump shot, it's a win for this offense. Booker outside. Russell sets a screen for Booker. Payne up top to the middle. Here's Williams. Some solid defense from Grant. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there, but I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. Here's Cartwright. Unable to get that one. And it's Philadelphia the other way. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Kings check in for the Bulls. Hobson passes to Jordan. Here's Hobson. Back to Jordan. Props in the layup for two. Jordan's got 17 now. Jordan's got a lot of flash to his game. A terrific guard. Loves getting tricky with his ball handling and creating shots for himself. Now here's Booker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Back to Payne. Kicks it to Booker. Shot clock at six. On deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Bulls making the switch here. Williams has checked in. Bulls leading by nine. Now the pass to Jordan. Back to Williams. And Williams with the stop. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. His defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. The 76ers trail by 11. And Booker kicks to Russell. Pass to Bull. Shoots over King. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Shooting Philadelphia. Manute Palmer taking two shots. Mm -hmm. 
no good on that one. And he's good on the second. Chicago leading by 10. Jordan outside. And Cole pulls it down. Bowles got rebound number five here tonight. Booker outside. Poked away. Jordan with the steal. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. Boy, I like that aggressive approach offensively, drawing fouls left and right. And clearly, he's feeling it when he's up there. He just keeps knocking them down. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole. And far too often, that's the case for this team. Good on the second free throw. Now here's Booker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Timeout call, the 76ers. They've already committed enough fouls to be in the penalty. Not good. They need to concentrate on playing good defense without foul. defense Chicago Russell finds Booker and a bit of a battle here for the ball the official signals a jump ball here Bowl dishes to Booker passes to Bowl shoots over King and he gets that one to go off the front iron Bulls got 11 here in this quarter alone. The little mid-ranger is going to be an easy shot for him when he's got that much of a size advantage. Pass to Hobson. Back to Jordan. Lock at six. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. 
for 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. Another big night for Jordan. What a natural scorer he is. MJ simply can do it all. Booker looking around. Russell sets a screen for Booker. Payne up top, guarded by Jordan. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. The 76ers on, shooting their sixth and seventh free throws Move. in the game. Two shots. One is off. They can't make the second free throw either. Listen, both. Chicago leading by 11. And outside, there's the pass to Jordan. And Bull pulls it down. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Booker outside. Russell sets a screen for Booker. He kicks it to Payne. And too long on the shot. And Chicago shooting here about 46% for the game. Hobson passes to Jordan. Miss number seven from the field. He's also made seven. Payne with it. Outside Russell. Pass the bowl. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. Down low, King, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Fantastic job getting this kind of a look at the rim. King flushes it home whenever he can. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Now Payne. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Yeah, the officials won't let that slide. I mean, they're eager to call out those illegal screens. Well, they should be. I do think he was trying to get there, but you've got to be completely planted. With one on the clock, and no good. And that does it for the first half of play. It's the Bulls. They lead by 13. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. I thought early on that defensive pressure that he applied, exceptional. Making the ball handlers really work. Picking lots of pockets with those fast hands in the first half. I bet we see them handle the ball much more carefully moving forward. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. The Bulls leading by 13. Jordan is double. Pass to Grant. Back to Jordan. Pippen a screen on Russell. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Rock is at three. For three, Paxson. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Anderson. Over Grant. Anderson can't get it to go. And Chicago shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. 
the pass to Grant. Bulls moving the ball around. Russell against Jordan. Pass to Paxson. Basket counts. Paxson's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Bulls. Bending off the contact well, Paxson understands how to keep his balance in tough spots. Russell passes to Hawkins. They get a bet. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Williams has got eight points. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. Grant outside. Back to Paxson. Hits Pippen on the wing. And here is Cartwright. Paxson outside. Over Williams. No good from Paxson. The 76ers trail by 13. Here's Russell. Jordan with some nice D. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Pippen outside. Passes it to Paxson. It's Jordan on the wing. Six to shoot. Over Russell. A shot by Jordan, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker with the break. Paxson against Hawkins. The 76ers need to get off a shot, and it's Russell missing. Chicago leading by 13. Paxson outside, kicks it to Pippen. Fouled on the shot, picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. Boy, Pippen gets the bucket and is going to shoot the and one. Excellent concentration there. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Bowl, he's checked in for the 76ers. come off the clock. Here is Hawkins. Ten points for him. Russell a screen on Jordan. Pass to Anderson. To the inside. Bull uses the glass to finish the layup. Bull's got 15 points. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Paxson passes to Jordan. Williams against Grant. Here's Pippen. Plays it up and banks it in. Nine points in the game so far. Pippen showing you nice agility that time. Working around tough defense. Able to play through that contact. Anderson outside. Hawkins with it. And the pass to Russell. Tries the spin move. The feed to Williams. Good as a shot. Nothing like setting someone up. Right. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. Now, here's Paxson. They lead by 14. Grant outside. Here's Pippen. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Pippen's got seven points for the quarter. I love to see Pippen hunting his shot, especially when he's got the position he wants inside. Outside, Russell. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Russell. To the left wing. Five on the clock. Here's Bull. He gets it in there. Contributing heavily, doing his part on the offensive end. He's got a great basketball IQ. He 
knows what will get his team back in it. Now, here's Grant. He has six. This is it to Pippen. Over Anderson. Hanson outside. Pippen outside. Armstrong's checked in for Paxson. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Payne, he's checked in for Russell. to Armstrong and it's Pippen in the corner shot clock at six it's deflected now here's Anderson nothing yet on the scoreboard for him now Payne Anderson a screen on Jordan Payne kicks to Hawkins Inside, there's Williams, the rebound by Grant. Grant's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Bulls. And the first one drops. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. He makes one of two that time. A trend we're seeing in the NBA now, Mike, is an influx of talent from overseas. Teams, uh, it seems to me, are scouting worldwide. It shows how far basketball has come as an international sport. Players are coming to the NBA from every continent. This is a global game now. Nicely done by Armstrong. They recognized the overcommitment from the defense. Got his team made a nice opportunity. And the 76ers call time here. Bulls making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. The 76ers trail by 15. And here's Hawkins. 10 points for him. Feeds it to Bull. Stolen by Pippen. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Hobson. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Love the communication. He knew just when and where to set the hot pass. Outside Williams. Up top Hawkins. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Horace Grant. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Shooting two. It's 
good from Hawken. Kings check in for Grant. good as he hits both of his shots here's Armstrong he has six the pass to Hobson fires high post the rebound by Anderson Anderson's got five rebounds tonight let's take a second look at that fantastic block Boy, and that'll give them a nice injection. Nothing like a rejection to get a team fired up. The 76ers trail by 15. Here is Hawkins. 12 points for him. Anderson the screen. Hawkins against Armstrong. Williams trying to break free. Hawkins shot good. Hawkins has got four points this quarter. And, you know, I'm not quite sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave somebody like him uncovered. That's to Armstrong. Williams, a screen on Hawkins. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. Just five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. King's shot is off. The 76ers have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Hawkins against Armstrong. Hawkins passes to Anderson. Hawkins with it. To the paint. Here's Payne. And Payne slams it in. You know, people rarely talk about Hawkins as a playmaker because he's such a great scorer. But that's a mistake. He can pass it, too. Pippen against Anderson. Yeah, you know, he takes the hit, but it looks like he didn't get his feet set in time. Yeah, I think there was some movement at the point of contact. Here's Hobson, outside Pippen. Shot clock at five. Williams, a screen on Hunt. Armstrong gets the bucket. A pure shooter. Armstrong's ability to space the floor and knock down jumpers is so valuable to this team. Hawkins against Armstrong. Anderson, a screen on Armstrong. Hawkins passes to Payne. Williams trying to break free. And the dunk by Bull. Oh, the reverse, yeah. I don't think the D saw that coming, Clark. High level stuff, guys. Pippen with it. He's got 11. Here's Hobson. There's a screen by Williams. Hobson passes to Pippen. A three ball. He can't get it to go. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Passes it to Hawkins. Over Armstrong. Here's Bull. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Bulls got 21 in the game. Can't allow them to burn you on the offensive glass there. That's simply on the defense in my mind. Like coaches always say, remember to box out. When you don't, this is what happens. Here's Hobson. Fourteen feet away. Here's King, and what? That one goes careening off the glass. Now here's Payne. He's got eight. 
Anderson outside. Here's Hawkins. Williams trying to break free off the left rim and out. Just unable to get into any kind of rhythm this quarter. And that's the way it goes sometimes. But his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. Here's Williams. And they pick up two. Williams has got his third basket of the night right there. There's that rebounding that Scott Williams is known for. I love seeing him go after the offensive glass like that. Anderson, a screen on Armstrong. Hawkins against Armstrong. Now, here's Bull. Defense is right there. Count it. So consistent from the field. A quality outing for him. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. 35 seconds left to play in the third. Armstrong gets to Pippen. Down low. Here's King. There's another block. Anderson against Pippen, and finished off by Williams. Spreading it like butter. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you could not cook it up any better than that. Yeah! Delicious. <laughs> Pippen outside. Good D by Anderson. And so it's Chicago. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Back right after this. This is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Pass to Ruland. And here's Hawkins. He feeds it to Russell. The Buckner's good. He'll have a chance for one more. It goes on Horace Grant. Points they needed right there. You like the fact that he took it right to the rim. High percentage look at an important juncture in this game. At the line for the 76ers, one shot. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. Free throw, no good for Russell. The Bulls leading by five. Armstrong with it. He's picked up by Russell. Out to the right wing. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Jordan outside. Here's Cartwright. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got three assists now in this one. The 76ers trail by seven. Anderson outside. Over Paxson. Anderson's shot is off. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well, that's one way to extend the lead. And what incredible timing on that play to do just that. Huge momentum building. That's got this team fired up. Here is Hawkins. No one covered. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Here is Armstrong. 76 is getting the buck over Hawkins. Grant the pass to Kirk. Anderson against Jordan. And the jam by Bill Cartwright. And you know, Cartwright is just a little north of seven feet tall, so once he gets great positioning, he's looking to throw it down. Russell against Armstrong. 
Here's Hawkins. The rebound by Grant. Chicago leading by nine. Jordan passes to Batson. Grant outside. Here's Cartwright. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got his third assist on the night. Nice job on the interior. Cartwright shoots a high percentage because he takes quality shots. He never forces bad shots. Now here's Anderson. Williams trying to break free. A nice shot by Anderson. Teams love hammering the ball inside and getting easy looks. The Bulls have gone an outstanding 4-5 or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Jackson kicks to Jordan. There's the pass to Grant. Out to the wing. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. The 76ers trail by nine. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. A three from Anderson. And they get it back. And the shot goes in. That's too easy. High percentage look without much defensive pressure. Jordan, the pass to Grant. Back to Jordan. For Anderson. Second shot opportunity. And it goes down two points. And the Bulls lead by nine. Grant inside, really willing to fight for his territory. Going hard against the defensive contact to get the finish. Jordan against Hawkins. Not loose. Jordan hit the steal. Over Hawkins. Nice shot from the wing. And now an 11-point Bulls lead. One of the many things Jordan does well. Keep his body under control. Outside, Russell. Pass to Hawkins. Over Jordan. Hawkins shot good. Hawkins has got four points in the quarter. Chicago leading by nine. Jackson kicks to Armstrong. Passes to Kirk. Up and in on the layup. Good use of his size by Cartwright. Boxing out to win the offensive rebound, then taking a shot of his own. Armstrong against Russell. Pass to Hawkins. There's the dish to Anderson. Over Paxson. Chicago grabs the miss. Cartwright's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Jordan passes to Grant. Comes up empty down low. And the dunk by Grant. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. Hey, just putting in the work. Doing the job. Grant does this every night. Rarely takes a game off in terms of his effort and tenacity. Now here's Anderson. Russell finds William. Six on the shot clock. Out to Russell. There's the triple. They get it back, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Shooting for Philadelphia, Jason Williams. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Scotty Pippins checked in for the Bulls. Second free throw, no good. Bulls leading by 12. Maxson kicks to Pippins. The pass to Grant. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Keep going, work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Timeout called the 76ers.
And one of our featured players tonight earns our player of the game, Michael Jordan. Boy, he completely took over, I think, on both ends of the floor. Scoring with authority and influencing a lot of plays, almost every play. This was the kind of night you dream about as a player. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin. Well, during that last break, I heard Philadelphia's coach as he addressed the team. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively. He said, make the easy play. Take care of the ball. We can't afford to just give away golden opportunities. And we'll see if they can clean it up, guys. Thank you, David. And it's Russell at the elbow. Hawkins passes to Russell. And here is Williams. He's covered by Grant. Shot clock at six. And Grant sends it back. Great defense from the big man there. Grant positioning himself perfectly to get the block. Michael Jordan on the wing. Jordan is double. Cartwright and the jam by Bill Cartwright. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Now, here is Russell. Here's Williams. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Williams has got nine points here in the second half. Chicago leading by 14. Pippen, the pass to Paxson. Grant outside. To the inside. Here's Jordan. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. And that one misses. Bowl. He's checked in for the 76ers. Payne comes in for Anderson. And he's good on the second. The 76ers trail by 15. Now Hawkins. Russell a screen on Jordan. Hawkins passes to Payne. To the middle. It's tipped. Stolen by Grant. Outside Jordan to the paint. Here's Pippen, and it's blocked. And here's Russell. Pass to Hawkins. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Williams in the post. He is guarded by Cartwright, and it's in there. Jason Williams. The Bulls leading by 13. Jackson kicks to Pippen. Outside, Jordan. Pass to Grant. Now, here's Pippen. Down to five on the shot clock. Jordan passes to Kirk. And it's blocked. 
And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And the Bulls making a change here. Armstrong's checked in. Shot from the inbound. And it comes off the front of the rim. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. It's a 13-point game. Down low. And stolen by Jordan. And here we go. Fast break. Jordan's got it. Pass to Armstrong. Here's Cartwright. I post Jordan over Russell. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Cartwright. Jordan's got 10 points in just the second half. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. You're right. Hawkins kicks to Payne. Hawkins with it. They set the pick. Just five on the clock. Outside, Russell. From deep. Good D by Jordan. The Bulls leading by 15. There's the feet to Grant, and the dunk by Grant. And Scotty Pippen, so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. And there's the pass to Russell. And he banks in the layup. Able to punch it inside. Nice execution offensively. The Bulls shooting it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field. Pass to Cartwright. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. For someone over seven feet tall, Cartwright is a really good foul shooter. Unlike other bigs, you don't want to send him to the line. And he knocks down the first one. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The 76ers trail by 16. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. Russell is screen on Armstrong. Ball's not loose. He swipes the ball away again. Here's Jordan. And then slammed in by Jordan. They're doing absolutely everything they can to close the book on this one. Yeah, the time on the clock and the numbers on the scoreboard are all in their favor right now. And, you know, this will be a big victory for them. They came out and executed their game plan, and what a huge win for the Bulls. And it seems like steals ended up making the difference, Mike, in this game. Their ability to force mistakes and turn them into points gave them an upper hand tonight, no question. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Michael. This guy caused havoc on the defensive end, piling up the steals. Now five years since the NBA, Mike, went to three officials on the floor. Uh, it appears to me it's definitely helped the game. What do you think? So much action happens at once. You need three refs looking. Sometimes you wish there was a way they could review tough calls. Don't you think that's coming, though, Mike, down the road to add another layer of, of observation? It just makes sense. We have the technology. Why not use it and get it right? We throw good, Jordan. Chicago making some changes. Kings checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Horace Grant. And Hopkins shoved in for Scotty Pippen. That one misses. 
the 76ers trail by 17. Booker outside. Russell sets a screen for Booker. Passes it to Payne. Inside, Bull. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Well, their play has certainly gone to another level. You just wish they'd made this move sooner. Yeah, had this happened with more time left to go, they might have turned this around. Here's Hobson. Williams, a screen on Russell. Here's Hobson. Here's Williams. And the layup is good. And the Bulls lead by 17. I think the hometown fans helped push them to play their best this evening. And the results speak for themselves. Well worth the ticket price to see your team play this way. Now here's Booker. Pass to Payne. Bowl setting the pick for Payne. Lock at six. And the dunk by Bowl. Oh my goodness, <laughs> oh. punching it through with one hand. That was nasty. And there was no denying him there. When he rises up like that, just get out of the way. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Fueled by the energy in this arena, they were able, Clark, to take control of this one. Yep, you always want to show out in front of the home crowd, and they did not disappoint. And that concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.